was me trying to do a, a heavy metal intro, you know, it's just, nah, my voice isn't what it used to be, okay? But anyway, today's topic is going to be about hard rock and heavy metal music, because we're going to be talking about one of my favorite bands ever, Scar the Martyr. Now, um, to those of you who don't know, Scar the Martyr was a side product that was started by Slipknot's former drummer, Joey Jordison, way back in 2013. Now, here's the thing with Scar the Martyr. It came after it came into fruition after Joey Jordison left Slipknot, but uh, it's still not clear to this day if he actually willingly left or if he was fired. You know, because the band said that they let him go, and well, no, the band said that he left, but you know, he said that he was let go. It doesn't make any sense still to this day. But anyway, Joey Jordison is one hell of a of a drummer, so he couldn't be you know without a band. So he formed a side project called Scar the Martyr who released their self-titled album back in 2013. Now, the, the thing with Scar Martyr is that they had a very different kind of sound. They had sort of like a, a little heavy metal mixed with industrial, you know, and uh, it, there were even a few elements of alternative in there, but it was a, a very interesting mix, and I loved their first album, you know? That's all they gave us, just one studio album with an extended version and a, a few bonus tracks here and there, but they never recorded anything else. And that's a shame because it's such a great album, you know? And if you're a fan of metal music, you you have to listen to this album, okay? You have to listen to this album. I'm not even joking. Go If you haven't listened to it, stop watching this video right now, pause it, open up a new window, listen to the entire album, and then come back. Go ahead, I'll wait. Have you listened to it yet? Good, let's continue. Back when I was younger and this album released, I was very, very addicted to it. And Henry Derrick, the vocalist, became one of my favorite singers, you know, at the time. And it's just, it's amazing the kind of power that he has, you know. Scar the Martyr has never produced the same kind of, of uh, you know, let's say, uh, performance and energy live as they did in the studio. But the songs recorded for this album were still awesome. And Henry Derrick actually, after the band, uh, well, disbanded, so to speak, he went on to... Uh, he went on to, um, how can I say, not exactly fine, but he just moved on to different projects. You know, he had um, Thrown Into Exile, he was the vocalist for that band as well, and then uh, Act of Defiance, and or the other way around. He just, at one point, he was the vocalist for these two bands, and I think I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> now, two very, very incredibly awesome bands. I definitely recommend you guys check out their work. Just go on Spotify, look them up, you're gonna love them. And, Henry Derrick is still as awesome as ever, but to me, he, he he hasn't produced the kind of energy and, you know, he hasn't produced the kind of content that he did in Scar the Martyr. I think that that album is still the best in his career, but then again, he's just getting started, right? Very awesome singer who collaborates with very awesome musicians. Uh, possibly my favorite song off of Scar the Martyr's first album is, uh, I keep forgetting the name, um, Cruel Ocean. I love Cruel Ocean, that's just one of the best ones. And for a very long time, I was very, 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 very addicted, almost obsessed with Bloodhost. Because this song, at least back in the day, made me relate to a lot of people who I disliked, people who I hated. And if you listen to the song, if you listen to the lyrics and actually pay attention, you're going to understand what I mean. And White Nights in a Day Room, I also love it when Henry talks about the walls around him tumbling down and him just breaking down you know losing all hope for better days and since i've gone through depression before obviously a song like that really hits hard you know on the my heartstrings and i love metal i love heavy metal i love rock and it's a shame that scar the martyr isn't active anymore which is what i want to try to talk about they had this album and they they, they released it in 2013 and they actually were pretty successful I mean, not to uh, spit on the other musicians in the band, but I'm pretty sure that a large amount of their success was because of Joey Jordison, you know, being involved, being Slipknot's former drummer and all. But the album was still awesome and everyone, you know, played really well. But for some reason, they just disappeared, you know. Uh, after a while, they just stopped recording material. They said that they were going to record another album, but then they didn't, you know. And then after a while, Henry Derrick was fired. So then they were without a vocalist. I remember, I remember that they even, they made a... An advertisement. They they made uh, they made it publicly known that they were looking for a vocalist, and they opened up auditions to the public. So if you weren't a famous musician, you could still become the vocalist for Scar the Martyr. And uh, funny enough, I actually tried to audition. I recorded a 
you know, a tape of me, uh, you know, screaming and, you know, some of their songs and a few of Slipknot's songs, but I never sent it to them. I guess I felt I wasn't good enough. Who knows? Maybe I could have... Eh. Uh, to those of you who don't know, I actually have been a vocalist for five different uh, bands, actually. I started with light rock and alternative and then slowly started getting a little heavier until uh, my last band was full-on heavy metal. And I completely screwed up my voice because I never knew the proper techniques. And uh, that little intro at the beginning was uh, sort of, you know, the way I used to scream, but powered down a little bit so I don't annoy my neighbors. I kind of miss it, but, you know, it's a lot of work being a singer. And... I just wonder where they are, you know, what they're doing. I don't think that Scar the Martyr is even active anymore. And I kind of wonder where they went because they had such potential, you know. And of course, uh, whenever you're in a band, when you're a solo artist, you know, things are much easier than when you're in a group because uh, there, there are bound to be creative differences. You guys aren't going to get along all the time. You're going to disagree. Probably the best or the worst example is Guns N' Roses, you know. One of the greatest bands of all time, but, you know, geez. I mean, they, they, they got into some pretty crazy moments together, you know, they did not get along and everyone knows that and that's why there were so many changes in the lineup over the years. And you might argue that Slipknot is a modern example of a band that does not get along at all, but, you know, they had their moments, but today they're very close-knit, they're very, you know, uh, close to each other, they're very tight. But yes, there was a time when they just hated each other. It was during the recording of their 2004 album, Volume 3, The Subliminal Verses. And they said that they just hated everything and everyone and each other and you know they just isolated themselves in the mansion with one another and got the album done so eh. but seriously scar the martyr you guys have got to come back please you have to come back you have to give us another album you know i just i, I really miss i really miss listening to you guys and i can listen to the old album you know i can listen to your self-titled debut i can listen to henry derrick and his other bands but i really want another album by you guys specifically together okay just bring Henry back, bring all the other guys back, and just record something. Even if it's just a five-track extended play, you know? Just give us something, you know? Because without you, it's just a bunch of soul disintegration. Okay, that was cringy. Okay, I swear I'm gonna stop doing that. Okay, no more. But anyway, seriously, guys. You know, if any of you ever watch this video, it's just one fan speaking, but I'm sure everyone, everyone else who, who you know, jammed to your self-titled debut albums you know i think i can speak for everyone when i say that we really want another scar the martyr album okay and henry derrick you're awesome man you know and i'm sure you're doing very well in all of your other bands but you know i just i really i really 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 want you back in scar the martyr i'll leave a few links down here in the description to uh the work that he does with his other bands but you know, it's you guys are going to enjoy it if you love metal, but I think that you, if you're a fan of Scar the Martyr, you're gonna see what I mean. The, the other bands are cool, but it's not the same energy as when Henry is with in Scar the Martyr. But yeah, it's pretty much it. I guess that's all I can say. I just wanted to get that out there. I really miss these guys. I want them to get back together and record another album. Please make it happen. And we have a new Slipknot album on the horizon. You know, uh, they released a new single, All Out Life, and wow, yikes. I'm definitely going to be recording a new video talking about Slipknot's new album when it comes out. I'm really excited for that too. I'm really anxious. <sighs> That's it for now, guys. This is Igor Chesterfield signing out for now. Check out the material that I've been sending you guys in the description throughout the video popping up here. You guys are really going to like what I'm trying to share with you. So, um, that's pretty much it. I guess. See you in the next one.